this particular summer, one of my jobs was to assure that the cows grazing on the mountain pasture did not break through the fence and get into the wheat field. A cow grazing on growing wheat can bloat, causing suffocation and death. One cow in particular was always trying to stick her head through the fence. One morning, as I was riding my horse along the fence line checking on the cattle, I found that the cow had broken through the fence and gotten into the wheat field. To my dismay, I realized she had been eating wheat for quite some time because she was already bloated and looked much like a balloon. I thought, you stupid cow. <laughs> that fence was there to protect you, yet you broke through it and you have eaten so much wheat that your life is in danger. I raced back to the farmhouse to get my dad. However, when we returned, I found her lying dead on the ground. I was saddened by the loss of that cow. We had provided her a beautiful mountain pasture to graze in and a fence to keep her away from the dangerous wheat. Yet she foolishly broke through the fence and caused her own death. As I thought about the role of the fence, I realized that it was a protection. Just as the commandments and my parents' rules were a protection, the commandments and rules were for our own good. I realized that obedience to the commandments could save me from physical and spiritual death. That enlightenment was a pivotal point in my life." Close quote. Sister Arnold learned that our kind, wise, and loving Heavenly Father has given us commandments not to restrict us as the adversary would have us believe but to bless our lives and to protect our good name and our legacy for future generations, just as they had for Lehi and Nephi. Just like the cow that received the consequences of her choice, each one of us must learn that the grass is never greener on the other side of the fence, nor will it ever be, for wickedness never was happiness.